That's me breaking through the fourth wall. Ah, see what I did there, see what I did there. But no, hello viewers. This is the first time I'm addressing you guys directly in an intro. But enough of the drama and media terminology. Things have been going a little bit better recently. Not at the back. At the back was still terrible with my new 3-4-1-2 formation. So I brought in a man who knows how to get the best out of his defenders. Big Sam Allardyce. Yep, but he's not here to save us from relegation. He's here to save us from the playoffs and falling into them. He already brought the boys in a big old tub of KFC and gravy. He absolutely loved it. Everyone loves him. Morelos has taken a particular shining to him. All aboard the gravy boat. That's right, viewers. Another FIFA 21 Watford Career Mode episode is on us. And even with the recruitment of Big Sam, it's not been enough to stop us conceding goals. I played two games off of camera against Blackburn and Huddersfield. As you can tell, we have won them both. But here's a little taster of what you missed off camera. Like I said, now we've resorted to a 3 4 2 at the back with Niambe falling to centre backs and Ruben Loftus Cheek coming in behind Morelos and Bodu. A little bit harsh on Yao Pedro. But in all fairness, Morelos has made a pretty decent start to his career in a Watford shirt. We kicked off at Ewood Park against not a struggling Blackburn team, but a mid-table team, if that. And it didn't take us long to get on the score sheet. He's moving off to cheek, thriving in his new camera. Got us underway within 13 minutes. A lovely finish into the far corner after being released down the right-hand side. And then before long again, it was two with Morelos teeing up Camavinga for only his second goal in a Watford shirt. But you could tell there were midfield runners absolutely everywhere. But one of the benefits of playing this 3 4 1 2 formation is the amount of options we have going forward. And as you can tell, the Ruben Loftus Cheek just darting down the right hand side from a brilliant counter attack. Wonderful touch there from Perdue to get away from his man. He has Morelos in space for his new strike partner. No chance. He is a born goal scorer. It's his 35th goal of the season for Myron Boadu. The man's unstoppable. But as I said, we are a little bit vulnerable at the back. And some wonderful play there from Joe Rothwell saw him get another goal. Uh, to add to his tally, he's one of the play players I was looking at actually from Blackburn as a very decent replacement maybe as a backup midfielder for maybe someone like Will Hughes but we've decided to keep Will Hughes and it's reason why today is that he was absolutely brilliant in the midfield dictating play and Morales did manage to get himself on the score sheet with his first goal for Watford from a Ryan Kent assist who was also making his debut out on the left hand side the two ex-Rangers players connecting like they did at Ibrox but now for the Hornets we still couldn't only keep it to one either. Blackburn played some really good football here and managed to just ticky tack their way through. And Joe Rothwell again with another superb finish into the far corner. He was hard to mark all day and caused me no end of issues. But as usual, a lovely bit of interplay. And this is a landmark goal for us. The Ruben Loftus Cheek goes through to get his second of the game. That was our 100th goal of the season and only in 33 games. An absolutely ridiculous record. We've been sensational so far this season, and that win was, well, it was needed. Especially because we had another tricky away game coming up at the Kirkley Stadium against Huddersfield, who weren't long ago in the Premiership themselves. And to be fair, we dominated the majority of proceedings, but didn't really create much of the way of chances. That low block of Huddersfield was really problematic to get through, and they kind of scored against the run of play in the 35th minute. A little bit of poor defending there from me, and also some poor keeping from Ben Foster leading to Bakuna tucking away a pretty decent finish in the end but you can tell there I just didn't know what I was doing there with the defender I should have just really cleared my lines and hoofed it out but I was trying to play out from the back a bit daft to say the least it took us a little while to get going and you can tell there the goalkeeper was making some very good saves the Saar teased the ball back and it's a sensational save from Alfredo Morelos from the goalkeeper there very frustrating and he made another brilliant save from Myron Bodu I swear that was in and I thought it's not going to be one of those days is it fortunately though we have so much talent and abundance now a through ball to Alfredo Morales and he gets his second goal in two games for Watford to get it back to 1-1 just before the 75th minute and he wasn't finished there as you can tell here we break through Boadu running the defender does well to cover him there but not enough to stop the ball across and Morales tucks it away with a plum to secure a big 2-1 victory from the depths of defeat. The real problem that we were having was just that we, we always can see one which gives teams away and you can tell Morelos there probably should have got his hatchet before the end but a big win nonetheless. I brought Sam in to try and help shore up the back and but we just don't play 
a deep line. We just don't. We're threatening as hell on the counter when we do win the ball high up the pitch. But in all fairness, it's it's just a bit disappointing. I can't deal with the amount of drag backs and heel-to-heel -heel flicks. Some of the players making this division, it does my absolute head in. So, Bournemouth still chasing down a playoff place and looking to secure that. Well, we are looking to secure a place at the top of the table. We're now six points ahead of Brentford, considering that they seem to have dropped off and we finally come into a little bit of consistency, a little bit of form at just the right time of the season. If we can maintain this now to the end of the year, we will be champions. And here's our Fabian Morales' first touch for you on camera, and it's an absolutely terrible one as I roulette it into someone for no reason whatsoever. This looks a little bit... Dangerous as Danjuma Groneveld is giving Saar a bit of the run around here. He's got a few more dispensive responsibilities now, Saar, because he's the winger. He's got to come back as well to cover runs. <coughs> That's worrying. Great block. Well done, boys. Good last minute block there. Very, very difficult so far for me to really get make any inroads into this ball team. It's all a little bit slow. Camavinga, though, trying to play him. Ryan Kent. He's got the pace. Ryan Kent whips it across. Bang! Oh, we get a little bit lucky, but Alfredo Morelos, he is here, and he is here to stay. If he'd started the season along with Bodu, then maybe, just maybe, he would be the man to be top of the goal-scoring charts. Great play by Ryan Kent. He just fizzes one across the box, and Morelos is just there. Great duck as well, to be fair, from Boadu. Alfredo Morelos gets the first. Off we go. 17 minutes in, 1-0 Watford. I don't think Sir Elton would like the tunage of these chants, would you? I'm still standing. Ever do. This is lovely play. Bodo into Ruben. Loftus cheek into Saar. Saar's round his man. Tees it to Camavinga. Woeful effort for Camavinga. He's done well to keep it though. Hughes and Camavinga. I mean, we're just. Oh, I went one past too many there. I need just to hit the ball. Good tackle there by Cabaselli, who's a little bit further forward than I would like, but he's making a great surging run through the midfield here. Oh, he's played to Bodu. Bodu gets a little bit lucky there. Bodu! I got very lucky with the deflection, but it's 2 nil. We're just too good. We've got so much firepower up front now. We're in fine form, and we get very lucky there. Mo Iron Bodu can do no wrong. Great finish. Centre of the net. Goalie had no chance. Goalkeeper said in no man's land. Didn't know whether he should come out or stay back on the line. In the end, he did a bit of neither and was punished. Good tackle there and Philip Billing by Camavingo. He's thriving in having a new starting role. Oh, I missed the run there from Boadu. But Ryan Kent for his first goal in a Watford shirt. Oh, it's a great... I thought he did it wide. It's a brilliant save. Bodu just saw it. That's beautiful. Loftus cheek. Tease it. Camera. Oh, what a block. We've just got so many options in this formation. I love the three at the back formations in FIFA. They just give you so many more options going forward. Bodu turns his man. Meyer on Bodu. Another sensational save by the goalkeeper. Is it Begovic in goal? I think it is Begovic in goal. And he's shown why he used to be a very solid Premier League goalkeeper. Morelos! Oh, Alfredo Morelos can score headers as well. Oh, yes. Now we're in business. That might be one of the first goals I've scored from a corner all year. But Alfredo Morelos is on fire. Two for the big man. Myron Bodu, watch out next year, mate. Great ball by Will Hughes. And just sheer neck power there from Morelos. Over the top of the goalkeeper. What a header. What a finish. Well done, that man. Five goals in the championship. Get in. And Brentford are losing again to Derby. Interesting. I'm going to take Camavinga off. And I'm going to give you all a show of Onyeka and see what he's all about. And I'm also going to take off from the Saar because it's game over. So Durame is coming on. If you love Watford, stand up. If you love Watford, stand up. Literally, it's going to be haunting my dreams. Oh my god, that's some terrible tackling from me. I've just literally let this guy in. Josh King, that's a poor touch from King. I made it so easy for him to get through the middle there. Terrible. Now, Onyeka, what you got in your box, mate? Not a lot with that pass. That was terrible. Been a bit of a drab second half so far. We've had openings, but not really done anything with it. And now Bournemouth are on the attack as Groneveld finds Josh King, who's trying to turn me inside out. He finds Groneveld. He's been their best player. And yeah, can't argue with it. He's probably deserved that goal on his own, to be fair, Groneveld. He's been absolutely brilliant. 
That's a decent finish. Poor from me though there. I just dive in a couple of times here. Not brilliant there and definitely not good there. I thought he was going to get it onto his right foot. But oh, not to Danjuma Groneveld makes it 3-1. Come back? I hope not. I'm really lost ball there until I've just cheat. He tries to tee it. Oh, bloody hell. And Yeka nearly got a toe in there to score. Unlucky fella. That's ours all day. Great header. Morelos wins so many headers as Bodu hits it. Oh! <laughs> what a goal, my one, Bodu. Oh, my word. Wow. That's that's goal of the season, that is. Wow. Lovely header down here by Morelos. And he just tees it. And, oh, it's unbelievably well hit. What a strike, Myron Bodu. Three goals away from the 40. What a finish. That celebration might become the stuff of meme legend. That's like Gary Neville. Oh, unbelievable. I'm still in shock from the Bodu goal, if I'm honest. Is there time to get one of the boys up front a hat trick? Durame's in. Oh, wreck. He can't blow up there. Durame was in. But there you go, a very comfortable 4-1 win at home over Bournemouth. We are romping our way towards the title. Had less of the ball, did more with it. Story of our season. Brentford lost again. Forrest drew. We are now cruising at the top of the table. Get in. As you can see now, nine points ahead of Brentford after that game. Nine points and ten points ahead of Nottingham Forest with only... 12 games to go. We are doing the business as it stands. Come on, boys. Well, Wickham are up next. And like I said, they're struggling down the bottom of the table. I don't really need, see a need to change anything. I don't think I'm going to. We were pretty much almost the complete performance, apart from the fact we didn't keep a clean sheet. That was almost the perfect performance against Bournemouth. It was almost the perfect performance against Bournemouth last time. So let's see if we can replicate that today away at struggling Wickham. These are the kind of games normally that provide a little bit of a hiccup. They can usually be quite difficult. We're in our change white kit today. Let's hope for a win. <laughs> Gape in the middle. Sorry, I, I shouldn't laugh at that name. They made a very good start at Wickham at the moment. Have they got Akin Fenwa still up front? I can't tell. It doesn't look like it. I can't see him. There we go. First time we've been able to really get hold of the ball in the first 10 minutes or so is Morelos. There's not really a lot of runners. No one fully committing forward. But Camavinga's found a great ball to Boadu. <sighs> Nearly a lovely touch and letting him in there. That's a nice ball, to be fair. Hughes into Saar. Go on, Ismaila. Go on, Saar. Saar, tease it. Boadu. Great block. Great block. They've got a very, very, very low block line there. That's not what I want to see. We've managed to get in behind, but didn't make them pay for it. Saar again, I were on the ball, waiting for the little overlapping run. No, no one decided to make... I forgot I don't have a fullback. Well done, Mike. Idiot. I was hoping Will Hughes might do it. I mean, Wickham have probably been the better side here, and I've, I've got trouble. Oh, I read that well, though. I knew he was going to try and thread it through. And this is where we're good. Boadu. No, no, no. Moreno stopped the run. He wasn't... I didn't need to play it. I didn't need to play that. Oh, here we go. Another chance for a counter as Morelos gets on the ball. He's got pace, but not as much as this man, Ryan Kent. Go on, lad. Oh, he's got away with it. Kent. Ryan Kent. Oh, no. Alfredo. Morelos. Oh. Ah, their low block is killing me. That's a foul. Stupid foul to give away. And they, they've been really, really fluent when they go forward, keeping the ball so well. And Jacobson's over a free kick here. This is potentially quite dangerous. Are they going to tee it? No, he hits it over the bar. Never in, never in doubt there. No danger. But at the moment, they're doing very well to to shut us out, really, more than anything. It's hard to shut us out as an attacking entity. They've done very well. But that's lovely from Hughes. This is the first time that Morelos has got in round the back. Morelos, what a save! <laughs> Well, nil nil at the break. We've had the best chances of the game, really, but not enough. I mean, that that one from Morelos, he should have scored that. Left foot, right foot, it doesn't really matter. He should score it. Um, I think I'm going to take Will Hughes off. He's not been very involved in the game. Onyeka's going to come on. 
I might also bring Reese Oxford on for Niambe, just to give him a bit of game time really more than anything else. I'm feeling relatively content at the back. It's just a little bit shocked by us going forward. What hell that is, but Iki Pazu. Oh, we played well there, though. We've won it. Go on, Alfredo. Morelos has got around the back of the defence here. He squares it. Boadu. Oh, pfft. It was a bit sweaty. I had to do it, though. The win is all that matters. And Myron Boudou gets his 38th goal of the season. But only just. He proper scuffs this. I really thought this hadn't gone in for a minute. Oh, he literally scuffs that with his right foot. But we'll take it. 1-0. Get in. Needed that. The longer the game went on, the more worried I was getting that we weren't going to score. Basically, the minute one of our front two gets in behind that back line, we're in business. It's the first time, apart from obviously the one Morales had in the first half, where I've managed to get us in behind. And Alfredo made the run again. He's made a sensational start to his Watford career. This entire career mode, I play very differently to the way I normally would. I normally really like having the ball and playing around with it and dominating possession. But in this, this career mode, I've given up the ball a lot. As Ryan Kent goes through on goal... Uh, I just don't want to keep squaring it. I should have done. Just put the game to bed. But that was poor from me. I needed to do better than that. And am I going to pay? Because that was a real chance to make it too. Well, that's a great ball. They spotted the run here. Saar doing some defensive work. Back to Freeman. Great tackle there by Foy. Right, away we go. Away we go. Oh, it's found Ryan Kent. Kent. Ryan Kent. Kent! Oh, I thought he just, I thought I'd smash it at the near post. Decent save there, decent save. That was a great save. Camavinga whips the ball in. Morelos' his head is on it again. He wins those headers all the time. Love it. Oh, that's a really poor header from me. Should have done better there. Oh, great interception there from Onyeka. What a mate, needed that. Bodu. Bodu, lovely chip ball there to Morelos, who's got the speed. Morales dinks it back post. Oh, what a goal that is. Who scored that? Is that Ruben? Well done. Brilliant play again by Morales. He's got two assists today. Whew, efficient is the word I would use here. We've not been great, but we have been efficient. Great ball in there by Morales. And Ruben heads it down. Very near the keeper, to be fair. But we've got the goal. That's all that matters. 2-0. Get in. Not the thumping we're used to, but we'll take it. Another great block there by Onyeko. He's been very impressive since he came on, I have to say. Oh, hello. Saar's in here. Saar. 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 Yeah, I, had to, I wanted to get Ryan Kent a goal. And it's 3-0. I just wanted to get Ryan Kent a goal really badly. That's his first for the club. Well done, that man. Well done, this may the Saar. And now we're beginning to run away with it. We're cooking with gas. When teams come out. It's like once we get one, that's it. We're away. Surprised he's not offside there, if I'm honest. But a great goal by Ryan Kent. He's first of the club, and it won't be the last. Get in. And there you go. A 3-0 win. Comfortable in the end, but at the first half was anything but. It was very nip and tuck at the first half, but as soon as Bowdo got that goal, we knew we were in business. They only had one shot. We did really well defensively in that game. I was impressed. Bristol City got beat by Swansea. Mm. Well, there you go. Another two wins ratched up. And with only 11 games to go, we are nine points clear. I'm feeling very confident about it. But before we go, a little something for you in the Youth Month Scoutly report. These boys look insane. That There's one player who I got in who looks ready-made for the first team. And that is Pedro Borges. Now, Pedro Borges is a right winger, which is a bit of a shame because this May of the Sar is still there. Having said that, this kid looks unreal. He's 15 years old, 66 rated. 66 rated. His weak foot of one star upsets me a little bit. And his, uh, his attacking work rate is high, defensive work rate is low. But apart from that, he could be anything he wants to be, this kid. His overall potential will probably grow. But, I mean, just look at that. He's 5 for 8 as well. But we've got some absolute bangers in here. Which one of these guys do you think is going to be the next big superstar for Watford? My one would be on either Iron Brew, but probably more Pedro Borges. I'm absolutely buzzing to play this guy. Cannot wait. He does not look 15. The years have not been kind to you, have they, mate? Anyway, thank you so much for watching the episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. When you come back, we will be doing another probably five games or so. 
Which means that really we've only got three episodes left of this season one. I hope that you have enjoyed it so far. Do you think we're going to win the title? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I think we're pretty much there now. It's been a great ride so far. What do you think of the signings? Morelos has made a stupendous start. I love it. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thanks so much for watching the episode. Please remember to like, share and subscribe if you have enjoyed it. And of course, come back for the next one. Until I see you there.